Good morning, everyone. This is Laura with with Stitching with Laura. Old throwbacks, I swear. Habits are hard to kick. Well, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a good Friday. It's the weekend. Again, I don't know where this week went. I really don't. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we are on day number 29. I had to look. Two more days of this, guys. Two more days. So that means we get to do each one one more time. So today, I'm continuing with my May Sania. And it is Quaker Sampling 3 by With My Needle. Yeah, I just love this. This is so beautiful. Just, just gorgeous. And I'm glad it's all one color. I don't have to think. I just stitch. I like that part. So today... We're going to work on this little acorn. Won't that be fun? Now, I went kind of crazy after I got off of my video yesterday. I, it was laying there. I picked it up. I did this motif and this motif. And I finished this flower that connects with this. So all of that, except for there's one more motif as you can see right here that sticks into that and then this whole section right here will be done but I'm just coming back this way and saw that acorn and went yeah we can do that oh, hey. last night I thought it was never going to end it just took forever it was a lot slower than it was the day before and it just you know like they're be a group of people you know not necessarily together but a bunch of people come in and then nothing for you know 20 minutes or so and then another bunch of people would come it was something else and then when I got home I had planned on having a TV dinner so I just pop that in the oven and because I didn't get home till like 10 20 something like that and I did not want to have to cook a meal so I had a TV dinner and then I tried to go to bed at 12 30 do you think that it would have worked no not so much it was a nightmare I didn't sleep worth a darn last night trying to figure out how to proceed here I guess I'll just go up one side and this morning I got up forced myself to get up at like quarter to nine because I finally fell asleep yeah so not real well rested but I am thrilled sick that all I have to do is work from noon till seven so that'll be a big plus with today and tomorrow I get to work 11 to 5 so yay trying to figure out where I have to go here I watched uh, I don't know if you've ever watched Nicola Park Parkman she is the authority in all for all antique samplers I swear she is the uh, the person behind Hands Across the Sea. If you get a chance to um, watch her on YouTube, do. Because she has a plethora of all kinds of information about antique samplers. And she purchases antique samplers to, um, what do you call them? Recreate them. Hang on, i got to get my coffee. Hang on. And, you know, I mean, she just, she delves into the history of, if you're interested in that kind of thing, history of samplers or of the sampler that she has and tries to find the person. And they have lots and lots of records, you know, on people dating far back. But uh, it, it's just real interesting to me to... Uh, sit and listen to her and 
the history and the background of each of these samplers that she's gotten to uh, reproduce. It's just amazing. Just amazing. So if you, you have time and you have the inclination to look up stuff about history and that kind of thing. Light air. Just amazing. She can keep me fascinated for hours. And she takes her time. She, you know, explains everything. And yeah, it, it's just amazing. There's nobody quite like Nicola on YouTube for reproduction samplers and historic, you know, things. And, you know, it, what amazes me is that she can still find information about the people that did these samplers or if it was done at a school and about the history about that. And, yeah, I, I would have been a great candidate for art history because I really like that kind of stuff. I can't afford it, but, yeah. It's just wonderful. Go a little far. This is done on 14 count uh, country French latte by Winchlet. I think. Yep. Country French. And it's really a nice soft type fabric. It's real easy to work on. So it's coming along. I don't know what got into me yesterday. I just sat there and made one motif right after another. So, yeah, you know, if you work on them for longer than half an hour, they do get done sooner or later. But sometimes I don't feel like doing that much stitching. But uh, I had a little time to kill yesterday, so I put in about a good hour and a half working on finishing these three things here. So, I think it turned out really well. <sighs> so, hopefully today we'll be busy and we'll just get right through it because I'm just not in the mood for the drag time. And I'll be working with somebody else because the somebody else, see, will close. And they get to stay till 10 o'clock. Let's see, didn't do that part yet, so. So, I don't have many plans for my days off. Trying to get this to come out right over here. But yeah, those just went smooth as glass. Just popped them right in there. That's what I like about it. Just absolutely love this. And I was going to go back to uh, 123 Stitch and see if I could find any other red samplers that struck me. But uh, so far, this is it. And I've never bought anything from this company. It's with my needle. So I have no idea what else they have available. So we'll see. Might be something in the making, but. Uh, I don't know, I kind of like these solid, oh, talking on it, missed the whole thing. Solid, cup, you know, single color things. You know, they're, they're refreshing, refreshing change of pace after, um, you know, working things that have like 15, 20 colors in them. It's just kind of nice to just sit down and stitch and don't worry about, um, doing, you know, changing colors and what colors do I have to have for this or that. I mean, yes, they're beautiful, but sometimes you just need a break. So that's why I'm really happy that I have my single color 
projects to work on, like Pavane. And this one, and I have Anna Ullman. So those are all nice to just sit down and stitch up a couple motifs and get a little bit further through the, the pattern. But trying to get it all together here. And of course, my thread's getting small. Come on. Well, we got that part done. Almost. Just two more stitches. Then I'm going to get me another piece of thread and we'll tackle the top here. It doesn't look too difficult. <sighs> and they've canceled most of the uh, activ not activities, but like we would have what do you call them? Like events, if you will. You know, like little things where they had vendors and all that coming and going. And then they'd have like a theme, like Leadville's theme is mining. And they'd have mining events or whatever. They've canceled pretty much everything in our area except for um, this thing that they call Gold Rush Days. And they usually have like a little band. And they have a parade, and then they also have vendors down by the the little pond here in town. So they're going to still have that. So, but it's not until like mm, the second week of August, I think. They did cancel. We usually have a big um, concert with um, Dirk Bentley, and then other people. Okay, now we get to start this top thing. Oh, gosh. Hang on there. Make sure I got it going in the right place. I do hate to frog out. Um. Okay, you're just like in my way. Can't get my hand in there. But they have canceled it. It usually draws 10,000 people. So, yeah. And it's usually a big deal. And they have like a like music all weekend and they have even places where people can camp right there you know on the grounds and it's all owned the grounds are owned by a private person but um this thing is put on by a we'll call it a a company so i don't remember their names but uh, they canceled that i guess they thought that was one too many people they have food and they have um, liquor and that kind of thing. So, and it's a three-day concert. It usually costs close to three hundred dollars to go every day. And I've never been. My daughter, her husband, um, gets tickets sometimes to go. So they'll go, you know, and get a babysitter. It's not a place for children. So, but it's, it's quite nice and brings a lot of money into the, the county, but, uh, in the city, but they're not having it this year. So we'll see. Hey, we're coming right along. That thing is way bigger than I thought it was going to be <laughs> on this thing. It just looks so nonchalant just sitting there, you know, it just. I don't know if I can get it any closer. But it, it just looks kind of small. I guess because I'm doing it on 14 count. Who knows? We just stitch them the way we see them, huh? So I have no plans to start anything new. For right now, I'm just kind of taking a breather, taking a break. Not doing too much new. And then I'll try to figure out in the whole month of June what I'm going to do for Jolly July or whatever the heck they call it. 
you know, Christmas in July thing. I have two, possibly three patterns for that. So, we'll see. We will see. Missed again. I hate when I do that. And this material is so soft, it, it doesn't take much. Sometimes it kind of acts like a linen. A real loose weave linen. So. Okay, we got that part, guys. Okay, this part ought to be easy. But you see what I mean? I mean, it doesn't take too much effort to do these different motifs and to make some kind of progress. I mean, we've been at this maybe 10 minutes. So, probably, I mean, it depends all on your stitching. I can't say how long it would take you because... I don't know, you know, if you stitch fast, if you stitch slow. And it, it's not a race. Just just do the pattern and enjoy making the pattern and getting it to come to life on the, the material is always best for me. And once again, we are running out of thread. We'll see how far we get. Okay, carry on, it says. We'll see how far we can get across here. Whoops. It's kind of hard to stitch on because it's so far away from the edge. And I didn't want to have to move it. I'm using one of those uh, Walmart um, hoops. Like I told you, I couldn't find any more when I was there. So, I may need a few more. I like to keep one with each project. So, we've been through all the ones that I bought both times. And then we'll be back to moving them back and forth between everything to get different projects done, which is okay. I think we're getting to the top there, guys. Let's see what happens next. Okay. Got that part done. I am going to have to get another piece of thread, though. Sorry. I just run my thread right through the back. And that keeps it in place. Especially because I run the thread... Well, you can see there's, what, three, four inches, maybe. And cut it off. And get rid of it. Now, I was watching uh, Vonna and Gary. And she starts on the top and ends on the top. She'll run it through, like, what do you call it? Through the stitches there on top. I haven't got on to that. I... No. And then covers up her thread. It it probably work, but I don't know. Just seems kind of difficult. I could end it on top, but I don't know about that starting part because then you'd have to really pay attention to uh, how you were covering it up with the threads. Does that make sense? Okay, so all we got to do is put the top on. Mr. Acorn there, and we'll have him done. And that's the last of the motifs, except for that one right there that I told you about. And then I'll have to work on that big, this blah, big pot here, and then I'll come down and work on this one. I think this is pretty. I love this one with the duck and or swan, whatever. I think it's great. I love it all. It's like you can hardly wait to get to the next motif, you know? It is for me. I don't know about everybody else. There's some things that I avoid. I don't know. Not not necessarily in this. This one is kind of a piece of work. It'll take a hot moment just to get that all in. But it's cool. 
Look, you got double acorns up here and another acorn down here. And a crown, a couple crowns, birds. I love the birds. <coughs> you know, I'm scared to death of birds in person. But I kind of like making birds on my things. And I mean, I can watch them from a distance, but I don't want them to get too close. They, their wings scare the crap out of me. And I've always been like that. So. Why does that look? Let me look at something, guys. There's six. I guess it's just because the fabric is pulled. I don't know. Some, really? Are you kidding me? I've got a thread on my hand. It's my hands are kind of dry this morning. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay, what do we have to do here? This shouldn't take too long. And this fabric makes you really be conscious of not pulling too hard because it is kind of soft. It's nice to work with. Just absolutely lovely. And I like it in 16 count. I usually don't buy 14 count. I don't know what got into me. It was back in a chaotic time and I was looking at fabric and fabric colors and I don't know what happened. I thought, oh, I like that color. I'll go look it up in 16 count. Well, evidently I found it in 16 count, but I forgot to take it off my uh, cart. So when I made the purchase, I thought, well, maybe that was for something else. Who knows? Laura is just fickle like that. But, because sometimes you can find a color in one count, but you can't find it in another or only comes in say linen or monaco or what is it lagana you know but i like the the off-white color and i may tea dye this when i'm done i don't know tea or coffee dye it haven't decided because the picture i mean it looks a little tan but it's not mottled does that make sense? So, it'll be pretty. It will be pretty, darlings, when it's done. But we're not there. Hey, we're making progress. Making some kind of progress. So, for that, I'm happy. And I still haven't made up my mind as to... Um, whether or not I'm going to buy some Lagana or some even weave of some kind. Haven't gone there. I think it's going to be too small. So I wouldn't buy too big of a piece. You know, maybe just a practice piece like 12 by 18 or whatever. Whatever, however it comes small. Is that an eighth of a yard? Maybe. I, hell, I don't know. But you know what I mean. I'm just not going to get carried away and buy a great big piece like this because I know I can stitch on this but that mm, I mm, no. all right guys well I think we got it let me take it out of here so you can see what progress I like it because that pup, puppy just slips right off let me fold this in half so I can lay it flat Hang on. Now I'll lay it down. There we go. So I just got to put that one here. And all that right there will be done. And I can finish that part. That other motif is um, 
I don't know what it's called, but it looks like tulips. There you go. End to end to end. So everything that away, right around that, we'll just call it that way, is done. Except for the, the big mo flower motifs, and they won't take very long. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Friday and a good rest of your weekend. God bless. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wash your hands. Bye-bye.